Are you going grocery shopping in Norway but don't want to spend too much money or time? Hi, my name is Kristin and I'll be your virtual guide here in Norway Lofoten. And today I'll provide some useful information about grocery shopping in Norway. What are the cheapest stores, some tips and tricks, and at the end I'll share some secrets only us Norwegians knows about. First up we have Jukir and Jukir is a typical smaller local store. It is very expensive and I don't have that much items to choose from but are really convenient placed. So if you need a thing or two it might be okay but I would avoid Jukir if possible. Mani is also a store that is a little bit more expensive, but unlike Yukid, they have a variety of products you can choose from. They are also a supermarket, which means they have fresh products such as meat, fish, cheese and so on. They also have warm lunches and dinners, so this can be nice if you want something like that. Worth noticing is that it has a lot of sales. They also have a cheaper brand called First Price. Bundpris is literally translated as bottom price. I kind of find this store a little bit in between. They do have some great prices and sales on some things, but they also are a little bit more expensive on other things. They also have first price. There are two kinds of Bundpris, the regular one, and then you have Bundpris Gourmet, which is a supermarket such as Mani. Kiwi has won the awards for being the cheapest alternative. Though it needs to be noticed here that they only test certain items, so uh, there might be a few items that are more expensive and a few that's more cheap. They also has first price as their cheapest alternative. You can also find El Dorado in Mani, Yukir, Kiwi and Buntris, which is another cheaper alternative. Close behind Kiwi are Rematusen, which is also a really cheap alternative. Their cheapest brand is their own brand, Rema, which is marked with an R. Then you will find a lot of different Coop stores. They have very different prices and the most expensive one is Coop Mega and their cheapest alternative is Coop Extra. Their cheapest alternative is called Extra. A lot of their items are their own brands marked with Coop, which is a great alternative as well. Be aware that a few things looks like they are on sale but are actually not. Something like Frystepriser, which means frozen prices, or Låstepriser, which means locked prices, are actually prices they have locked so they can't go up in price, only down. And the stores price themselves that they have pushed the price as low as it can go, so it's still a great alternative. And then you have Medlems Tilbud, which are items that are on sale for members. So in conclusion, Kiwi, Revatusen and Extra are the cheapest alternatives. The stores have roughly the same basic selection, but the price tag might change a little bit from store to store. The cheaper brands are First Price, El Dorado and Extra are some great products, but some of their items are made with lower quality ingredients and the fruit and vegetables are often from something we call snålfrukt, which means weird fruit. And these are just the fruit and vegetables that didn't get chosen for the more expensive brands. So they are often a bit smaller or weirdly shaped, but are otherwise perfectly good. Unlike Finland, in Norway you don't need to pre-weight your fruit and vegetables. You can just bring your fruit and vegetables to the cashier and if you go to self-checkout, you can even weigh it yourself. Though there are stores that give you options to weigh it beforehand if you want to see the price. Us Norwegians just love our bread. It is something really special for us. You find all different kinds of quality of the bread. You have the more cheap ones like first price, this was 10 kroners. And then you have more expensive bread. I would recommend you get the whole bread and not the pre-sliced ones. Uh, if you take the bread and bring it to the machine that is on the side of the bread selection, you can do like this, put it in the machine and then it will slice it through. And when it's finished, you will take a plastic bag and put the bread up on the silver tray. Put the plastic bag over the bread so it sticks together. And then remember to take the bag that the bread came in and put it over the plastic bag again so the cashier can have the barcode. 
Many store has a self-checkout system, though not everyone has them. And as a Norwegian, sometimes you just don't want human interaction and this is just a wonderful option. The self-checkout is fairly easy. You can change the language. It's different from store to store, but they would at least have English. And then you will just scan the barcodes either down on the plate or by the handhold scanner. When you want to weigh something, you will just put the item on the plate and remember to remove your hands. And you will just look up the right items, such as paprika. A pro tip here are bring your own plastic bag or tote bag. Plastic bags in Norway right now are really expensive. They want us to cut down on buying plastic bags and therefore they are really expensive. I think you have to pay around four kroners in the grocery store right now, so that is pretty expensive. And the last step is paying and then you get a receipt and you need a receipt to get out the doors. And you will see a lot of Norwegians just throwing away their receipts, but I recommend that you will keep it so just in case there are something wrong with something you bought, you can go back to the store and you have proof that you bought it. Norway is almost a cashless country, but most places still take cash. And then we have the opening times. And I know a lot of people have learned the hard way because in Norway, the stores are actually closed on Sundays and in public holidays. And the stores have shorter opening times on Saturdays as well. And on some special occasion, such as in Easter or at Christmas. Though there are some exceptions for the stores being closed on Sundays, the gas stations are open and you can find a few items here, but they are very expensive. And there are a few grocery stores that are open, but they can't be over a certain size. So the smaller stores can choose to be open on Sundays. And then many of the bigger stores actually have sections of their stores open. But there are many places that still don't have Sunday opened stores. We have really strict alcohol laws. The stores are not allowed to sell alcohol over 4.7%. If you want something stronger than that, you have to go to Vinmonopola, the wine monopoly. And you can only buy alcohol during a certain time period during the day. So from Monday to Friday in the grocery store, you can buy alcohol from 8 in the morning to 8 at evening. At Vinmonopola, from Monday to Friday, you can buy alcohol from when they open until 6 in the evening. And on Saturday, you can buy alcohol in the grocery store from 8 in the morning until 6 at evening. The wine monopoly from opening time until 4. But I've noticed that some smaller places actually have shorter opening times, so check this out. And if you are under the age of 20, you are not allowed to buy alcohol with a percentage over 22%. And you're not actually allowed to buy energy drink if you are under the age of 16. We also have very strict rules about driving and alcohol. You can't have over 0.2 in blood alcohol levels. You are actually allowed to buy light alcohol under the percentage of 2.5 outside of the rules for other kinds of alcohol. Even if some stores are open on Sundays, you are not allowed to buy alcohol from these stores. Though you can of course buy alcohol from restaurants. These are just the general rules. If you are coming during some kind of holiday, I would check out the opening times. So in the next part, I will talk about my Norwegian tips and how you can make your trip as cheap as possible. In the past few years, Norway is trying to reduce our food waste. So in the stores, you will actually find selected places where they will place out items that are about to go out of date. And these are usually priced around 40 to 50% off. But of course, you can choose what they are putting in these boxes. And as an earlier grocery store employee, we put out these items towards the end of the day. So you can aim for that time period. But then you have things that are on sale. These are items that might go really fast, depending on if this product has a really good discount. And then it will be gone at the end of the day. But then you might wonder, how do I find these sales? Well, there are actually a few tools you can use. You can download Kup or Matilbud. 
in which our app that has collected all the discounted items into one app. And in Coop, they actually have a function that you can click on the item and put it into a list. So you will remember which stores the item is from and which item it is. And it is in Norwegian, but you can take a print screen and put it into Google Translate. Us Norwegians love bringing our own lunchbox or a mapake, which is actually a really cheap alternative to the cafeteria. And the tip here is to bring along a mapake for your road trip. The food at the gas stations are really expensive and you can save a lot of money to just bring along some food on the road. To make it even more easy, you can buy spread on tube, which is really easy to spread out over a piece of bread. A tip before you go to the store is to bring along your bottles. These bottles have something called pant on them and this one has three kroners as you can see. And pant is a deposit you pay when you pay for the bottle. So you will see the price of the bottle but that does not include the pant because they want you to go back to the store and recycle it through a machine they have and then you will get your money back. Different bottles have different types of pant and some of the bottles from the Vine Monopoly also have pant. You can choose to get your money back and you can give the receipt back to the cashier or if you're in self-check you can just scan the barcode and the money will be withdrawn from the total amount. There are a few options when you go to the machine. If the machine has a green button that means you get your money back and you will just get a receipt and the red cross means that you want to donate it. This also is kind of a lottery so you can actually win money if you donate the money. Too Good To Go Bags has blossomed here in Norway and there are actually a lot of stores having them right now and I've seen the local bakery here put a large bread and many other stuff into a Too Good To Go Bag. Tap water is considered safe all throughout Norway and is really good. So remember to keep a bottle so you can fill it up. And it's also a way to save some money. Drinking alcohol out on the restaurants or in the bars are really expensive. So us Norwegians will buy alcohol from the grocery store or Vinmonopolia and we will pre-drink. So we won't wake up the next day after being at the bar and won't be able to pay our bills. So feel free to enjoy a glass of wine in your hotel room. Just be aware that you are not allowed to drink alcohol out in public. We are actually not allowed to market alcohol or tobacco, so you won't see any sales on these items. But if you go to Vin Monopole, the wine monopoly, and ask the employees if they have any kind of alcohol on a discount, they will find what they have on sale for you. I hope that you have learned something and that your trip to the grocery store here in Norway becomes a bit more cheap and easy. And if you like this kind of videos, please consider to subscribe to my channel and a like would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.